Hello minions, please assemble, it's your boy Just Ball, I'm back again ladies and gents, you're all probably thinking, Jordan, where's the, where's, where's the reaction videos being like, I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I'm busy, I'm busy doing things behind the scenes, but away from YouTube, one of them being something very, very big, and I've got a massive announcement to, to kind of, massive thing to show you off. It's not my penis, I swear to God. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> don't know where that's coming from. But, um... First things first, I'm going to the gym today. That's going to be a part of episode two of the Weight Loss Journey, Weight Loss Documentary Series. If you haven't watched the first episode yet, you lot who have gone to see it, well, been to see it, it be just been to see it, been and saw it and watched it, etc. But yeah, to those of you that haven't watched it yet, go check it out. To those of you that have watched it, thank you ever so much for all the love and support because that video is still to this day, three days after, one out of fucking ten. One out of ten. To those of you that don't understand that premises, having a 1 out of 10 video is fucking good. It's very, very good. Very impressive. So, it, it's still climbing in views here and there. And it's all in the green. And I'm just sort of there just going, huh? thank you. Just thank you. Like, it, I don't really know what else much to say. It's just, I'm very, very appreciative. Thank you all of us so much. Minions, you've been going crazy. But also, um, to those people that have come across the channel for the first time, thank you all ever so much. Because there are so many more things that I am looking to do. And one of them, ladies and gents, which is the big announcement for today, I finally got the soundtrack to my new song. My first ever song titled Breathe. To those of you that have not long just subscribed, uh, Story time. I've been a massive fan of music since I was a young boy. I've always wanted to get into music. Being uh, around negative minded people always made me believe that I wasn't good enough, etc. etc. People always saying that you couldn't sing, you couldn't do this, you couldn't do that. And in reality, I had more talent in my pinky finger than they ever did and ever will. And so I know that may, it may make me sound a little bit cocky. But for the first time, I'm actually sounding cocky because I've finally got that fucking confidence in me. You know, I've never really had the confidence within myself, truly. Never really ever. The only thing that I had confidence in was fucking waffling, as you can clearly see. But I, I'm, I'm working on so a fair few other things. And of course, breathe... I went on to Fiverr as Josh, who was helping me out, he, he had night shifts and he just wasn't able to reply. And I just went, don't worry, I'll find someone else because clearly you got your own life and you're busy at the moment. And so I went on to Fiverr and I came across this producer called Rajute Studio or Rajute, is it Rajute underscore studio? This guy, fucking very good. I've checked a couple of his other things. And so I paid about £60, £65 pound for the song, uh, well, for the soundtrack. And he, I was supposed to get it for Thursday, which is today, of time of this recording. But I actually got it two days ago. I got it on Tuesday. And um, I, ladies and gents, when I tell you I lost my collective shit when I heard this track. Both you don't. Like, I was literally at work. I had a half shift. And I, was, I had finished. And I went out for a smoke. I smoked, by the way. I went out for a smoke at the end of my shift and I see a notification. I see a notification and it's from Fiverr and I go, hmm, has he messaged me or something? So then I find out that he sent the delivery and sent the freaking soundtrack. He sent the, the um, he sent the track to breathe, which is my first ever song. And ladies and gents, when I tell you I've got the lyrics on my phone, they're fucking decent, like they're nice. Like, I'm going to be cocky. I'm going to be a little, slightly... For the first time ever, I believe I've done a fucking madness with the lyrics. I believe I have. I've, like, I've sent it to several friends when it was not even a song yet. 
but it was somewhat in a song format, but it was just too bulky to which is what my good friend JD said. He said the lyrics seem great. Well, they are great, but it's just too bulky. You got to cut it down, mate. And so that's what I did. I switched some stuff around, changed uh, the the hook uh, slash the chorus or whatever. Hook chorus, same thing. Uh, I I altered it in somewhat way. And then I finally got this soundtrack. And ladies and gents, I am going to play for you right now a little sneak peek. So strap in your seatbelts because here is here it is the f your first ever listen to my new song that is coming out hopefully within the next month or two month at the earliest. Here is breathe. You're not ready for this! <laughs> you ain't ready for this! You ain't ready for this, baby! You ain't ready for this! <laughs> ah, when I tell you, when I got that soundtrack, I was asked at my shift, having a smoke, and I heard that track, I lost my collective shit. And I just went, <laughs> Nearly flipped the table where I was sat at and then threw the chair with it. <laughs> like, I've sent the track, I've sent the track to a couple of friends, sent it to my brother, they've all raved about it, they've all praised it, they said it's nice, and I'm just sort of sat here just going, oh! Hercules! <laughs> so you'll all probably see as well that this is just me genuinely smiling. This is me genuinely laughing. This is me being myself again. This is me being giddy about things that I'm working on. Uh, being slightly cocky because I know, I know what I can do. I know what I'm capable of. When I put my mind to something, bitch, I am... Honestly, I've got one of the hardest work rates that you will ever see. I am an absolute machine. When I put my mind to something, you cannot stop me. Only I have to take myself out of that zone to then take a step back. But I don't think I'll ever, ever be like that again because of one major key factor, and that... It's because of hanging around with all those negative minded people that made me have a negative mindset. I now sit here and I go, no more am I going to be a little bitch and let someone else tell me what the fuck I can and can't do. I'm going to do things my way. It's my life. I'm going to show the world the real me. But first, they're going to have to let me breathe. So let me breathe. Let me be free. I want to thrive and feel alive for the first time in my life. And trust me, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm, it's just so nice to feel like this again, because I, it's just it's just so nice to have this mindset again. It's to just truly have that ump for me now, and finally having a kick up my ass and just going. You've had family and you've, and a couple of friends, mainly your family, going. You can be better. We know how better you can be. We've seen you when you've put your all into shit. And you've just lost, you just lost your way. You just gave up. Because you're hanging around people, sometimes with negative mindsets. Sometimes you were hanging with people that were very different, different to what you were like. And then you tried to be like them. But in reality, they liked you for who you were because you were who you were. You were this confident individual who when he's put his mind to something he's unstoppable and also was fairly entertaining 
fairly funny and was, you know, just a good person to be around. To then you lost your way, etc, etc. So now you're in the position that you're now in. But now, that old me is just, yeah! He's gone, he's done in the berry, he's gone. Mole is dead. Mol is no more. To those people in my hometown that see this video, please, I beg, stop calling me Mol. Because Mol is no more. Mol's been gone for about two, three years now. But now he is well and truly buried. He's gone. He's no longer in the world. Please either call me Jordan or by my YouTube channel name. Because that is who I go by. It's either those two names. And I'm trying to figure out, is just small like Jordan? Is Jordan just small? That's what I'm still trying to figure out. And I'm getting closer and closer to the answer. And I'm coming to the conclusion that pretty much, yeah, that Jordan is just small. And just small is Jordan. Because they are pretty much the same person on and off camera. So, I can't wait to show you what else I have in store. Episode 2 of the Weight Loss Documentary is coming out for next Monday. Stay fucking tuned, because it's about to go down, bitch. It's, a, it's about to go down, and I cannot wait. Finally, my head's out of the gutter. Finally, my head, it, my... my my mind is finally ticking and clicking again with the way it used to. But now it's been re revigorated. It, it's been regenerated in a manner of sense because it feels brand new. Because I haven't felt like this in so long. So keep your eyes peeled and make sure you keep your ears open too. <laughs> because... Your boy is hoping to get this song out within about a month or two. Two months at the most. So, yeah. I cannot wait for this. And, um, yeah. Thank you all of us so much for showing the love and support on the Weight Loss Documentary Episode 1. Um, thank you all of us so much for, all in, for showing all the love and support on YouTube and all on the comments. Even in um, my social media accounts, you know, privately messaging me, etc., including the likes of Jacob. Jacob, keep me up to date and posted on your weight loss journey as I will be doing the same with yourself. But that is going to be it for me today. Stay happy, be healthy. 2022 is the birth, well, the rebirth of Jordan while you wake a just small. But first, you just got to let me breathe, please. You let me breathe. <laughs> here we go baby here we go that is it for me today i will see you all next time god bless take care and uh oh, peace